Okay, so I bought what I think is the cheapest bender that is on eBay. This is a Model 3 clone, a JD squared Model 3 clone. It did not come with the uh, the die. I bought this separately from JD squared, and a JD squared uh, die does does fit on this um, Model 3 clone. When I was thinking about buying this, I asked the guys, "Hey, what dies do I use on this?" And the seller had no clue. Um, but this this is definitely a cheap, cheap version. Version. Um, this is just black oxide finish. It's rubbing off. It's going to rust in no time. It's already started to rust a little bit. Um, the the dial plate is subpar. That's for sure. I mean, you, you get what you pay for. And then what I did is I catted up a another plate. I put on an anti spring back. Uh, ratchet and then I just 3d printed a spacer down there and zip tied that on and I'm just going to take this pipe right here and bend it uh, I'll do 180 degrees and just see how it goes and just uh, I'll do 90 degrees just because it's a little easier but that way I can uh, check these out and the other upgrade I'm going to do at some point is I'm going to put springs on these to where they always auto ratchet and then uh, one of the other upgrades I just did just a second ago is I put a spring underneath that die right there because that die keeps trying to fall down and it is just a pain in the butt you have to keep on getting it just right but with that spring in there this thing kind of just sits where it needs to sit and then when you go and uh, chuck up on it it self aligns for you that's nice I had to sit there and play with the spring a little bit to get the, the height right but uh, now that's there it's good all right so I've already put the pipe on it's tight. Get the bar. And yeah, this bar is already rusting too, so everything on this thing is going to rust big time. So let me about, it's pretty much zero. So we go 90 degrees. on both of these on both of these uh, ratchets then I can just sit here and focus on this and not have to put a hand on here. I don't know why nobody does that. Make life a whole lot easier. But that anti-spring back ratchet is nice. And so if anybody wants one, let me know. Or I can tell you what shop to go to. Get it. There you go. Just one minute. Let's get a little bit more bent. Okay. Now I need to reset everything. So push that out of the way. Pop this one out. Move back. Actually. And the wrong pin there. Man, it's bitty. Oh, it crinkled the tube. Just wonder why it was bending so easy. I don't think I. This is a seam, I'm sorry, welded pipe. So I could have put it on in the wrong spot. Where's the weld? I don't see the weld. I think that might be the weld right there. But yeah, that tube just crumpled. All of a sudden, it got real easy. Let's try a different one. Make sure I put the weld, just the weld, put the weld in the horizontal. But it's nice now, because this thing's in the right spot. I don't need to fight with that. Pipe and so you might not be able to bend this all that much. 
Starting to buckle the pipe. This pipe is not like thin. This is like a 36 pipe. Thin wall pipe too. This is a uh, 60 thou wall pipe, so it might just be too much. That uh, vendor might be too much of a uh, short, small radius for this pipe. So, yep. But it works. It does what it's supposed to do. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, although it's got to rust in no time. But with the upgrades I did, I think it's pretty nice. It does what I want. And it's got to get better pipe apparently. <laughs> 